counting down, so the race is starting right now. So yeah, we have the race starting between M.I. Brahms and Sandweb. Uh, but yeah, these guys have a minute that's only one minute apart. Oh, I got a PB that's one minute apart, apart so this have, has the possibility to be a really close race. Uh, however, Rams is a lot more experienced in the game as all, uh, like overall. So I am expecting him to do a, a few, like fewer mistakes overall. Uh, he has a top five time in 96 exits and a 95 exit no gate time, and just top times in pretty much every category. Uh, actually, Garb, I think that you are muted, according to chat. I can hear you, but I don't think they can hear you. But yeah, um, Brams has been along in the Super Mario community for a long time. He is a, one of the more experienced speedrunners in this game. While Sandra is quite new, like, he's been around for a little bit less than a year. So I maybe can't call him new anymore, but he's not been ar around for that long. And, uh, like, Sandra got a decent time in Night 6 Exit, nothing amazing, but still a decent time. And in No Cape No Star World, he got a 37 44. Uh, while Bram's PB in No Cape No Star World is a 36 27. So, as I said before, it's they are not too far apart. And I'm expecting Bram to go for the shell jump, and he did, but he managed to miss it. Uh, while Sander just jumped through without picking up that shell. But overall, none of them has done any mistakes so far. Which I don't expect anyone of them to do, at least up until DP3. These, these guys are good enough to know the game. Like, these guys are good, good enough to not do mistakes so early in the run. And like, that's even though they go for the fastest runs, both of them. None of them went for on the ball in uh, the first room of Iggy. But still, Rams get a 281 door and Sander as well. Nice, so, hope they can hear me now. I hope they do, because our viewers deserve to hear you as well. <laughs> and Bram's getting that 311 split, so pretty much as good as you would expect of a Josh Allen split. Uh -huh. And sending at a 323, which, like, as a whistle split, that would have been a 311 as well. So they, these guys are pretty much neck and neck right now. Hmm. And I'm sorry if I miss anything on Bram's stream, but that Taco GIF is just <laughs> so. <laughs> like, it's taking my attention away from this gameplay. Uh -huh. Let me see if I can change that. Uh, 
Chooses to go for the midway tape as well. But both runners getting 261 and getting through this difficult early level without any mistakes. Like, so th that's a great start. And might be a sign that we're gonna get a good race. I know that a lot of runners are a bit nervous. Oh, Rams take a rare death in deep. Oh, DP4, sorry. That is not a part where you would expect people to die. However, it is early in the level, so it shouldn't lose too much time. Especially considering that Sander lost P-speed as well on the next time. And Batu, Rams is losing P-speed as well, so... Yeah, Sander is taking a bit of a lead right now. And he gets the Yoshi Amp at the end. Let's just hope that Brams can uh, come back from this early death and doesn't let it affect him in any way. And yeah, no problems at all with the last Yashi Jump for Brams. making his way up Morton's Castle, while Rams is in the second room. Uh, I'm expecting Sander to go for the screen, and yes he is. Gets it up there without any problems. And I'm gonna expect Rams to do the same, considering that that is the fastest strat. Uh, Rams, uh, Sander chooses to go for the safe spring jump, and he gets hit actually. Loses that fire floor anyway. Which costs a bit of time, and uh, this will allow Brahms to catch up at least a little bit. But still a pretty decent world one from Sander. And Brahms misses the spring throw, uh. which doesn't lose as much as losing his fire flower. But well still, it's a time loss that he doesn't like. Sander actually ahead. <laughs> what did he say? Sander's actually ahead now. <laughs> yeah. Like, Sander has been ahead since Brams took his death in DP4. And uh, Sander is also ahead of his PB actually, by 7, se uh, seven seconds. Ah, nice. So, uh, so yeah, Sander has had a good start so far. The only thing oh, he's done is losing Fire Flower in Morton and losing P-speed at that one part in uh, DP4. Uh. How is the stream going on? Yeah. 
feel like they can hear game audio, or I don't know. Oh, I don't know. So they went went for that backup flower, considering that he had none before. While Brahms is just opting to go with one five flower. Hopefully it won't make any difference because I'm not expecting anyone to lose a fire flower here. But yeah, Sandra is a bit too late going up in the Manila Secret One oh and lose that fire flower while trying to go go for the first cycle. Oh. Yes. And Brams is getting through it with no problems at all. So once again, Brams is gaining some time on Sandra. And if Brahms is managing to keep this Fire Flower up until Ludwig, he will gain uh, this time back on Sander just through being able to uh, use the Fire Kill to defeat Ludwig. Instead, huh. saves 12 seconds. Huh. And both of them nailing the start of VS2. That's impressive, considering that it's easy to make a mistake in that early part. Oh, nice. And I don't think anyone hit the P-switch either, so no extra lag for anyone. Rams take a hit, but manages to remount Yoshi before he goes off the edge. Uh. Those were two good uh, vanilla secret two by both runners. And Brahms ended up in the water in vanilla secret three. Shouldn't lose too much time though because he can ga regain P speed straight away. But he's still losing some time compared to Sander, who got through that level perfectly. Going into Vanilla Fort, I'm expecting both of them to go for the fast Resno kill. And uh, I don't think that Brahms is going to be able to gain any time in this level. Yeah. Basically, up until Ludwig's Castle, I'm not expecting anything to make these runners be more separate in time than they already are. Sander so choose to not go for that uh, backup mushroom. Uh, not really sure why, but I think it's like it's easy to get past all those fishes wh while you're small, which might be a reason. Or I would, if I would have chosen, I would get the mushroom just for safety. Especially considering that it's a tournament run. But no problems at all for Sander, he gets the fast rest of And doesn't allow Brahms to catch up. Like both of them getting that 224. And yeah, going into BB1, I hope that we won't have anything special to say. Considering it's an auto scroller and the longest auto scroller in the game, we will have to watch and see if we can get some swag from any runner, but that's about it. And like without a cape, it's difficult to get those uh, dupe blocks, or block dupe, sorry, or even just getting a shell with you until that part. So, yeah. I'm not expecting too much of swag, but hopefully they're, they're gonna provide the fans with some entertainment. And yeah, Sander is going for some at least, going for those extra power-ups, or one-ups. see if anyone goes for ban. But yeah, Rams is just going for it safely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't pay me at all. The 
Sander chooses to go for that mushroom in BB1 instead. So I think he just felt like that it was safer to go for small only strats in uh, the fort. But like going into the forest, it's always nice to have a f uh, mushroom, considering that you need to be big for uh, Yoshi clips and FI2, or it's easier at least. And we also need to be big for FI4, or FI3, sorry, and getting to that secret exit, which leads you to Roy's castle. Going into Body Bridge 2, I know that Sandra practiced the no cape strats for this level, just in case he loses Yoshi or missed the blue shell. And I would expect Brams to know it as well, considering how long he has been running this game and the categories that he's done. But hopefully none of them will be, have to use that strat. And yeah, both get the blue shell without any problems, so they will be flying through as intended. That is true, Silver Star. Uh, Brahms has the possibility to still get the Roy Fire kill. Uh, considering that he already has one Fire Flower and you will get a new one in uh, FI1. <laughs> and uh, Sandra is gonna, use, uh, gonna have to use some slower strats to be able to have two Fire Flowers up until Roy's cost. And to get that fire kill in Roy, it's important that you have two fire flowers. Considering that you won't be able to save any time with doing the without doing the deboost. And I'm happy to see that none of them get sits in the second room of uh, Ludwig's console. We're gonna see uh, Brams catch up here though, because he has the Fire Flower, so his Ludwig fight is gonna be a lot quicker. <laughs> and Sander jumps on the Fireball and gets hit. Oh. And Brams actually gets a Gold Spitter. Nice. And this was a really solid spit by Brams. And yeah, with that Gold Split, Brams takes the lead. Oh, pretty fast uh, race there. Yeah, it's only a few seconds between the racers. Yeah. One mistake from either runner can still make a big difference in this race. Oh, my streams are buffering. Oh. Gonna try and refresh them and see. What seems to be buffering for me? What are the timers set for you? Okay, 18.29 and 18.31 okay, right now. I'm far behind. I need to try and get this. Okay, that should be better. I missed what happened to Sander, but I guess he died in FI1. Oh, missed the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, okay. Most buffering, so I couldn't see it, unfortunately. Uh. So yeah, that is one of those mistakes that I was talking about. Rams is actually getting quite a lead now. More or less an entire level ahead of Sander. Oh, yeah. And especially considering that, as stated before, Rams has those Fire Flowers for, uh, for Roy. So he have more time that he will gain on Sander in the future. And Rams gets rng out. He did everything correctly, but still missed Yoshi Clips. But goes through on the first cycle. So, yeah. He tried to go for that second cycle, uh, left side clip, but... Third cycle, when you already have a lead, is still good enough. Yeah. Brahms is... Oh, Sander is using to go back for a flower, or uh, for a mushroom. And if I want to be able to do the clips. Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, you can, I think you can still do them if you're small, it's just a lot harder. Yeah, like, as I've been told, it's just a different visual cue. 
but still possible. But if you don't know that Wizard Q is not worth going for it, small. So then I get them first, first try. Like, if you know how to go through the level without Yoshi fast, I don't think you gain any time by going back and grabbing Yoshi in FI1, or grabbing the mushroom in this case. But, considering that I don't think Sander knows the proper strats for that, he probably saved time anyway by going back for that mushroom. And Bram's got that wall clip, or wall jump, sorry. In FI3. Frame perfect well, in input. Yeah. And he got the Goomba jump as well. So yeah. Rams is looking for a one more solid split. As long as Roy goes as it's supposed to. A uh. bit of problems with the Yoshi clip, but nothing else. And also Sander gets the wall jump. Impressive by both of them. Mm, nice. <laughs> like getting that wall jump is just a minor time save. But it's still always nice to see runners pull it off. All time saves are important in a speedrun. Hmm. Sanders used to go for a bit slower strats for FI3, uh, getting to that pipe to get to the key. But he gets it without losing any power ups, which is the important part. Rams is messing up in Roy, so he's not gonna have a fire club for the fight. He doesn't die though, so he's still ahead of Sander. But Sander is able to gain some time here. Rams, with the, those mistakes, actually gain some time on his PB. Hmm. And as usual, when commentating, my browser has crashed. Uh. Which I don't know why it's happening, but yeah. So I'm gonna try and set it up again as fast as I can. Okay. Let's see. So, so yeah, the Anders is finally. It's about 25 seconds ahead of behind PB. It's actually not too bad for race. Or 28. Yeah, certainly not. Like, 20 seconds behind PB is. Like, you can't expect to play better than that in a race. And I am back with the streams, by the way, so I can actually see what's happening now. When I never watch Bram's stream, I always think that, like, something bad happened because he opens his mouth. <laughs> I'm part of yeah. the gift. That's what I say, like, uh, like what I said before. It's hard to focus on Bram's gameplay with that gift playing on the side. And once again, if there are any newcomers that don't know what that gift is about, watch that Twitter link, and you will see the same gift. But yeah, uh, Rams is basically one level ahead of Sander. Yes, he is halfway through the first room of the ghost house while Sander is finishing up Chocolate Island 1. As we've seen from Bram's previous race, World 6 can be bad though. Yeah, like, there is a reason why people call Chocolate Island for Choke Land Island. Mistakes can happen and it will cost a lot of time in this part of the run. Uh, there are several tr uh, tricky levels and tricky jumps in pretty much every single level in this uh, world. So even though Brams is one level ahead of Sander, there is, this race is far from being over. Yeah. And my streams are buffering again. I don't know why this is happening.
so yeah, I'm sorry that I can't keep the commentary up right now, but I'm having some issues. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. Okay, okay. Ram's getting through Seattle well. Yeah, okay, now it's back. Nice. I hope I won't be too far behind. But yeah, Ram's is entering Chocolate Secret, which at least to the newer runners, is a gatekeeper, more or less. You have seen some of the lower seats having some pretty difficult, uh, some big difficulties in this level. And getting stuck. I noticed that Bram Smith's the P speed at the beginning. But the rest of this should, he should get through the rest of this without too much of uh, difficulties. But it needs to be worried though, because He's making some minor mistakes, and uh, at the meantime, Sander is just going through with the proper strats. So, as far as I can tell, Sander has made up some time compared to Brahms. And Sander gets pace speed in the beginning of room 1. is almost getting past all those structures without losing, losing any time, but gets hit, hit by the last one and then takes it safe by the last uh, two yellow slopes. Uh, and which is nice considering that those can eat your inputs and can kill you if you're unlucky. Also Sandra is losing P-Speed at the end of Chocolate Island. Uh, missed the uh, box jump. Ooh, Rams take a death in Wendy's Castle. Oh, Seems that's bad. You had to go for the one tile jump over the lava, but just missed it. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Since Sandra is big, you can choose to just jump past it and take a damage boost and get past his first crusher. Without having, having to worry about it. Ooh, this is close now. <laughs> it's really close. <laughs> uh, ooh, not getting yeah, a not pressure skip. They are not only in the same level, they were in the same room for quite some time. Yeah. Ooh, Brams is taking another death. Oh! Very far in Wendy, but missed the last tricky jump. It was close to being a impressive Wendy Room 2 by Rams, but as we said, so failed one jump, which was enough. Oh boy. Sander getting the cycle skip though, which I'm expecting Rams to get as well. Yeah. So yeah, both of them are in the Wendy fight at the same time. This is a incredibly co close race. And Sander gets all when he hits without losing any cycles. And Brams as well. Yeah, they, there are less than 10 seconds between these runners right now. And Sander actually golds his chocolate island. Oh, nice. He's only 16 seconds behind his PB. And I can see why this is a gold, because. I didn't see Sander do any mistakes, except losing speed speed at the end of Chocolate Secret. But yeah, this is going to be really interesting going into the last world. Hmm. Like, I guess that Sander is, uh, like, that Brahms is going for Sand Bar Clip, and Sander not, which might, might give a lead to Brahms. Yeah. But yeah. This can be decided by minor mistakes as well. Like something simple that lose as losing P speed in Mob 2 might be the decider. Or for that matter, just missing the despawn in this sunken ghost ship. Let's see if they manage to go through the boot cloud at the correct pace. And the stream is buffering again, so please take over. Okay. 
Oh, Xander missed the cycle skip, it looks like. And let's see. Okay, Bram's got it. Okay, I think Bram's ahead again. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is really close to Yeah. Like, really, really close. Okay, I'm back again. Okay, cool. Okay, so... Ooh, okay, yeah. Rem is actually a decent amount ahead now, I think. Yeah, I don't... What happened? Like, where did Xander lose all the time? Yeah, Zan Xander didn't get the Boo Ring despawn, the first Boo Ring despawn. Okay, so that's all the difference. Let's see... So that's an orb for Rams. I'm gonna see. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Sorry. I missed saying orb. <laughs> okay, 53. Uh, so let's see, okay. Rams so. is entering Valor of Bowser at 31.12. Okay, 10 second difference actually, just saw it. Yeah, exactly. 10 seconds. So, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Rams chose to go for the D-boost in Wobbon. Uh, Sandra is already small, so he doesn't have to take that time loss of like one second. <laughs> But like at this point, any time loss is massive, yeah. and if Rams is doing any minor mistakes, Sander is able to catch up. Or a failed sandbar. Yeah. I don't know if Rams is gonna go for it, or if Sander is gonna go for it. It's gonna be interesting. So yeah, if he like if he if he's seeing where people where each of them are, I don't know if he I don't think he'd go for it. No, but I don't know if he's watching the stream or not. Yeah. Oh, Bram's is missing P speed in Bob 2. Oh. As speaking about before. This might make it a tie race again if Sander gets it. And Sander misses this as well. As well. Oh. Sand. And Sander is actually missing one more cycle on the sandbar in Bob 2. Oh. So I this think that is... Bram's gained some time there actually. Even with that mistake. Oh, let's see. So yeah, let's see now. If is Bram's gonna go for it? Looks like it. No, <gasps> just goes for the cycle skip. Uh, I think he was going for the sandbar clip though, but he missed it in the safe way. Okay, well that yeah, that's a good thing to do in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really, the sensible thing to do. And Sander didn't go for it either, so yeah, Rams is still a little bit ahead. Yeah. Like without timing it, I would say that it's about 10, 15 seconds ahead of that is right now. Yeah. I don't know. Just looking at the cycles, it's probably about that because, like, I think he's a sandbar head plus a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that was was what was I was thinking as well. And he gets the orange jump. So he might gain even more time on center here. Nope, Sander gets this as well. <laughs> <laughs> Still really, really close. But yeah, I'm guessing that both of them are gonna go for peace pit strats in the Bob Ford. And as long as they do, it, they do it correctly, there's no time save for Sander to have had here. Ooh, Sander misses the P-speed. Oh. So yeah, at this point, this race is Bram's to lose. He has the Resno fight and Bowser's castle left. And I think that he even have enough time to, s to spare that he can miss ball skip. Yeah. I think it'd be really bad if he just mi if he missed something on the second phase of Bowser. Yeah, and Sander takes the death. Oh, that well, that's um, uh, yeah, that's painful. Okay, well, that kind of yeah, it's gonna be really yeah. hard for Sander to catch up now. I would say that the only chance that Sander has right now is a death from Brams in Bowser. Yeah. Apart from that, I think that Brams has this race. It's like, it was really close though. Yeah, this has been a really, really good race. Yeah. Like, I knew that these guys were close in PvE, 
but I was not expecting a clo race as close as this one. But as we said, it's not over yet. Bram still need to defeat Bowser. Ooh, Sander takes another death in Resno. Ah. Going for that fast Resno fight and just get hit by one of them. Oh. Well, can be, yeah. can be rough. Yeah. This is a bit painful to watch. Sander had such a good run up until Valley of Bowser. It might have been some nerves though. He might have felt like he had a chance to beat Bramps. And just got nervous at the end. Yeah. And play that, yeah. Like, we have heard other racers talk about a tournament race being a bit different compared to the normal runs. And that's especially like the nerves that's in play from the beginning. Rams get ball skip while Sandra is going for the safe Resno fight and he gets it. So yeah, the home stretch for Brams. He has the last phase of Bowser left and then he's gonna be able to call himself uh, a third round uh, upper brackets participant. This is one of the Mega Koopas, but he should still have this without any problems. Hmm. And there it is. Okay, nice. Congratulations, Brahms, with a time of 37.18. When I get buffers again. <laughs> hmm, nice. But yeah, Brahms is going forward in this tournament. And in the next round, he's going to play against either Louis or Excite Delta Smash. Ah, nice. Let's see the... yeah. And yeah, Sander is finishing up his Bowser fight as well. Hmm. Keeping yeah. the Mecha Koopa to be able to go for the fastest possible fight. So I'm seeing who... who Sander will be facing. And uh, I don't know if is Bram's going to join us for some talk about the run or. Okay. Oh, Sander missing ball skip. Ah. <laughs> Hits the two second Koopa stones, so. Still not too bad of a buzzer fight for Sander. Uh. Hello. Yo, hey. Hello, Brams. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. Right. I got the wall jump in FY3. That's all I really cared about. <laughs> Sander got it as well, actually. So oh, did this he? This was like nice. double top wall jump runs so, or race. So, did you watch? Sander stream, or do you know? Yeah, how I had the were? restream up, but I wasn't able to like you know focus on it. I peeked over every once in a while to see how far behind I was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you were behind for quite a long time in this run. Yeah, I got DP four, and that really sucked. <laughs> Where did I pull ahead? I think I pulled ahead in Ludwig, right? It's like Fire Flower. Yeah. Yeah, you took the lead in Ludwig, and then uh, Sander messed up a bit in. Uh, FY1. The ghost ship. And, oh yeah, uh, ghost ship too. Yeah. What did he do in ghost ship? I didn't see what he did. He missed the despawn, and then oh, my stream okay. buffered, so I didn't see what happened afterwards. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I beat my last tournament match by like three minutes, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, how do you feel about the run? Are you happy? Uh, yeah, it was alright. I golded my level support. So. Yeah, like. You gained some a lot of time on that split. Yeah, like, like Sander didn't seconds. play bad, but you were still 
getting some time back. Yeah. I got boned by uh, World 6 as per usual though. Hello. Chocolate Island. Happens to everyone. Hey, Yo, hey. Uh, you, had you had me worried. You're like, FOI. <laughs> I was shaking I... in my boots. I could just not keep a hold of any power ups that round. <laughs> oh, Sam, Xander, you weren't you were actually had like going it like it at the beginning of Second Gossip you weren't actually had then too. Yeah, like really? Yeah, yeah uh, you, it was... you were had really late in. I was scared. <laughs> I thought I was gonna need sandbar. Oh. No, I did you I, go I... for sandbar crumbs? Dude, I especially after I messed up room one of Bob two, I was like, okay, I definitely need sandbar. So I went for it, but I do a good setup so I don't die if I miss it. No, when um I entered the Bowser fight and you hadn't got it done yet, like I wasn't watching the restream at all, so my heart was just pounding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then just like as phase one started and you got done, and I was like, okay. <laughs> well, I have to say, Sandrak, if it wasn't for Wob two and uh, Wob Fort, this would have been down to seconds in the yeah, Bowser yeah. fight. Sure. I, I died multiple times in Bob Fort. I died to Bob Fort Resnor. Oh yeah, that's a huge ass time. <laughs> uh, but like, considering that, so I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. You, as you didn't watch the streams, and you didn't see it, but Brams messed up in what up to and lost P speed. And yeah, yeah. You would catch up then, so we had would have a race that was neck to, neck and neck. I just completely forgot to hold left at the start of um, Bob 2, so I went through that slow as well. Yeah, there's, there's a hell of a lot of times that I could have... Um, I, I messed up so much, and I was only like 1 minute 45 off PB, so... PB is free. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, both of you, how do you yeah. feel going forward in this tournament? Ram still playing against Louis, Louis probably. I'm very scared to play Louis. He's gonna destroy me. Uh, do we know who I'm against yet? Who you are uh, against? Oh, classic, classic James. I saw that. Okay. Um, he's decent. Ah, oh. if I remember correctly, he's decent. So Let's see. I think I can win if I get a good um, <laughs> run. But after that, I don't know. Yeah, he's a 58, 58 C. But I don't know. He may have improved his PB since then. There's another match happening right now, right? GDF yeah. and Umar? Exactly. Oh. Uh, I don't think they are ready yet, but they, that race will be happening straight after this one. Nice. Okay. Well, GG Xander. Yeah, that's yeah, what Congrats. That was scary. <laughs> I don't want to race you ever again. That was nerve <laughs> wracking. That race I'm took a year off my life. <laughs> but yeah. I must say that that is probably the best race so far in this tournament. <laughs> uh, I think Twitch Master said in chat, but is that the first race with two sub 40s? That doesn't seem right to me. Uh, no, I, I think I think my race. I think I know that my, my race did. Like I had I had 39, and Aaron had like a 35, so that had to be. Oh yeah, yeah, you guys. What's like? This was so close up until Ghost Chip and Valley of Bowser, so I think this is by far the best race so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm, cool. I'm going to enjoy watching the Lord back. Yeah, yeah. me too. I'm going to enjoy I really thank you to both of you <laughs> for that treat. Like, especially getting a double wall jump in the 5 feet, both of you getting it. Oh, you got it too? <laughs> Yeah, I had I had problems in Texas. I don't know what it is about Chocolate Island. I can never do that world ever. <laughs> it's just impossible in every category. If I remember correctly, my Chocolate Island was actually decent. Yeah, I golded by eleven seconds. Yeah, like Alexander, you were a bit behind going into Chocolate Island, but you gained sometimes in every single level. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna head out of here, boys. Yeah, yeah see, see ya. Yeah, so. Right, have a good one, guys. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> see ya, man. So, 
we just gonna continue with the next race, or are we setting up? I, like, okay, 